so on. The computer can read this left half of its memory, but it can't. can't write on it. It can't change it. It is therefore called read-only memory, or wrong. But the computer can, in a sense, write on the up. Read only memory. Uh, so, um, A computer is really just a collection of switches that can either be on or off. When we feed messages into this maze of switches, what we're doing is getting them to form various temporary patterns of ons and offs in the computer's memory. But we can't do this to all the switches, because some of them have already been organized into pre-step patterns before the computer leaves the factory. These switches are stuck. And they consist of permanent instructions on how to load programs, how to print things on the screen, and so on. The computer can read this left half of its memory, but it can't write on it. It can't change it. It is therefore called read-only memory, or wrong. But the computer can, in a sense, write on the other half of its memory. This half is called random access memory, or RAM. Random access memory. Yep. Because the computer can write temporary messages anywhere it likes here, it has... Okay, so let's take a RAM random what if university launch businesses too by incubating startups in terms of technology and biology. This is more than just a place you step up. It's how you get ahead. University of Arizona. Bigger questions, better answers. Bear down. Learn more at Arizona. Oh, man. So, um, have you, when, 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 uh, when you load, I mean, when, when, um, you're, have you got the other one, um, laptop here? It just, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying. Oh, yeah, I got it here. Um, does it? It's it's older than this. What? The laptop is older than this. This is better than the laptop. Oh really? Yep. Huh. That's, a, that's an antique that I got here. No. Huh. It's not the one that I had. I had to give that one away. Because somebody needed it. Some lady needed it. That one that I had here. I don't have that no more. I've only got one left and it's an old, old antique. That's why it's in here. I took it to somebody and it, it didn't work too good. Is that the, the one you have to... That's right. The, that's right. The one that I had, 
had a bad screen. This one don't have a bad screen. Oh, this, this is a different computer. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. This is a different. That one that you had, I I cut the clip off because it went down into a hole here. Oh. And it would lock up, and they would get and pull up on this corner, and it, and it would warp this, and it would pull the connections apart that's in the, there. Oh yeah. Wow. So you wouldn't have any screen. Yeah. So I I was doing this and all of a sudden I got it got it back together and I says, okay, never lift on that corner. Always lift in the front. Then I saw this little thing and I said, well if somebody pushes it down in there, it'll lock again and it'll get in the corner. So I cut that off. So then there was no lock. It would always open up. Oh, and so then you can open, you can do this and open. Mm -hmm. Oh, smart. Right. <laughs> so when that happened, then I, I gave it to somebody that, uh, some, this, I forgot who it was now. But anyway, I just told her, I'll always open it up from the middle. Yeah. And I says, if you open it up here, it might pull the, the connection loose. Oh, okay. She says, I can do that. So she lived there. Everything went so far. I haven't heard from her. Apparently good, it's working. Good. So, um, so now I got an old the antique. Islanders available panoramic moonroof. Passengers never miss out on the view above. Well. With Toyota Highlander's available panoramic moonroof, passengers never miss out on the view above. After all, you never know what you'll see up there. A computer is really just a collection of switches that can... Hmm. Okay. So you say that you say that um, a computer is really just a collection of switches that can either be you you say that um, it doesn't have any ads because this this thing is, is full of ads 
full of ads. ads. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you got a... Uh, have you got a laptop that is not full of ads? The ads is in the ads is in your YouTube. The ads is in this here. Yeah, but when you go to another one, you don't have the ads. Oh, because you. Um. Yeah, the ads happens to be in this this one particular. That's that's how how they 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 get paid from the ads. And so. Laptop is the same. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. Yeah. When you have Windows Seven or whatever it is, whatever comes up on one will come up on the other one. Except if it don't have. It. It. If you never go into this particular. ROM and RAM, RAM and ROM. If you never go into that, then you wouldn't get the ads that's coming up on here. It's only when you go into this, you get these ads. Now, when you go into another one, you might get a different kind of ad, but it still might be some ads. But when you get out of YouTube, you don't have those ads. They just started doing that because the, the, that's how they get paid. <clears throat> now, what I find, I take this and, and drag this over to wherever I want and then, then let, let it go. Uh -huh. You know, if, if you wanted to read past the ads and, and, and get to the, uh, the RAM part, which might be over here. I just dragged this over there, then let it go, then it, and I get past the ads that way. Okay. Um, can I? Oh, oh, go right ahead. Okay. So, um, okay. Trouble is, this has got a lot of garbage on it because I I've been trying to get that hard drive to work and and I I really got it loaded up with a lot of garbage. I haven't cleaned it out yet. things on the screen and so on. The computer can read this left half of its memory, but it can't write on it. It can't change it. It is therefore called read-only memory, or ROM. Read-only memory, right. Okay. But the computer can, in a sense, write on the other half of its memory. This half is called random access memory. Random access mm -hmm. memory. Random. Uh. Random. Let's see. Random, run, uh, random, random, My, my, um, 
my nose is an allergy. Something's in, apparently in blossom that you're allergic to. Okay, random. Uh, no. Ram access. It's not printed. Oh, here it is. Random, Random access. 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 A C C E S S. A C C C C E E S S S S. That's access. And the last one is memory. You don't have it here. Access to memory. 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 Because the computer can write temporary messages anywhere it likes here, it has random access to this part of its memory. But if you switch the computer off and then on, the messages in its random access memory disappear. The loose switches are scrambled once again, whereas the instructions in the read-only memory stay as before. The switches are still stuck in the same position. Of course, you don't necessarily have to program messages into RAM yourself. You can load a ready-made program full of messages into it from a cassette or a disc. You can take the cassette or disc away and the messages will remain. But naturally, if you turn the computer off and then on, once again, the messages will disappear. But at least you've still got the originals on your cassette or floppy disk. So ROM is read-only memory, and it's permanent, it never forgets. Whereas RAM is both read and write memory, and it's temporary. It forgets at the flick of a switch. Huh, that's it. Hmm. So, memory sticks, that's what these are called, memory sticks, or board, 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 okay, stick or board, um, you go in some places, they say, oh, you want a memory stick, you know, to buy one, yeah, they, I think they just picked that up, you know, they, they probably don't remember board, so they say stick, memory stick. But memory board would be the more prominent name for that. Okay, so... Because it is a board. It, it's like the memory board or the uh, Wi-Fi board. So... Memory board would be a uh, proper name for it, I th I'm sure. Okay. Okay. Me memory. Memory board. 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 Yeah. Bo bo board. Board. Is that right? Or the, the O R D. You gotta have an R in right in there. Oh. Board. Or board. 
Okay. Uh, R before the D. Okay, board. Okay, um, and then uh, memory stick, stick, st stick. Yeah, that's it. I was watching you. Oh, oh. I read it upside down. Uh, yeah, uh, how, how do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> how do you do that? I don't know. I just, I just know how you're making an H and a C and all that. Yeah. So, um, uh, so it, it had nothing to do with uh, memory board. It's got nothing to do with memory board. What doesn't? What uh, doesn't have anything to do with it? Um, it's. Wrong. No, right. Nothing at all. Mm. And brain is uh, RAM is uh, random access memory. In other words, when you use it, it's gone. Right. It's temporary. When you use it, when you, 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 you use it, and then mm -hmm. it's gone. It's temporary. Um, damn. ROM is permanent. You, when, you, when you have a ROM, it's there until you turn your computer off. You can always go back to it. RAM, you you use it, and as soon as you hit another key, it, it, it's gone. It, it, it's temporary. So it's, it's only when you have it there, and as long as you don't do anything with any of the keys, it's it's there. As soon as you hit a key, it disappears, and then, and then you would have you would be typing another one over the top of, or where that one was, you might say. Uh, um, Okay, can I you go right here? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um so Okay. Did you call oh, Dick? Digital so we only memory and and run. Okay, let me let me see this.
A computer is really just a collection of switches. Man. Oh. Man, they, uh... A computer is real. Making computer faster by upgrading virtual RAM. the name I thought they wanted service but it's advertisement making computer Faster by upgrading virtual RAM. This video tutorial.